hello hello beautiful people welcome back to a brand new video and it has been a while since i recorded this intro but damn it feels good to be back however this video is going to be very special for me because i have never achieved level 99 slayer in old school runescape and slayer is in fact my favorite skill in the game however if i were to combine all of my different accounts into one i would have reached 99 slayer a few times over so in order to celebrate this achievement for myself, I decided I will go from level 98 to 99 Slayer only doing boss tasks from Konar. So with that being said, I really do hope you guys will enjoy this video. It is going to be a longer one. This video took a lot of time to make. So if you guys enjoy it, make sure you give the video a like. That way you help me out big time. But with that being said, let's jump right into it. We're gonna take the first one, which is going to be Cave Kraken. And you know what? That is great. Along our journey, we are gonna be collecting brimstone keys, and I'll be opening these at the end of the video. And here we have it. The very first task is, in fact, completed. And we do end up getting two brimstone keys. And let's see how much money we made. 1.5 million just about from this task alone very nice and the good thing about this is i can basically just teleport straight to mount karum with rada's blessing i'm also just gonna fact check that i don't have any brimstone keys already in my bank because that would kind of ruin the purpose of this uh, so let's see if we have any here oh and we do actually have seven so i guess we're gonna be opening seven brimstone keys right now and uh, i'll start collecting others as we go this always brings me back to the twisted league days seven brimstone keys let's see what do we get uh so the loot from these i don't really know i guess it's like around 50k per per key or something okay 80k there 300k there 130k there another 120k okay so i think that was a pretty good haul honestly like 800k from just seven oh my god we might be making some money well I guess we are gonna be doing some cow fights. Unfortunately though, I just went through 500 points to get something worth doing. So I don't know how doable that will be to only do boss tasks, but 160 cow fights. All right, here we go. We are starting on basically KC 75. I did one before that just to practice. Um, but yeah, this is gonna take me a while to complete for sure. Should I take the ring? Ooh, there we go. That's the first drop right there. Dragon chain body. Wait, it's only 400k. Why did I get excited? What happened? Last time I did call fight, queen, this drop was like 2 mil. Another thing I completely forgot about are clue scrolls. I want to be doing as many clue scrolls throughout this video as possible. Now, I do have a bunch of them in my bank. So let's start off with this hard clue scroll and then elite clue scrolls. I'm not gonna be making masters. If I get masters in the clue scrolls though, I will be doing them. Here goes hard clue scroll. Uh, 124k, nice. All right, I actually forgot how long elites take to do. Let's see what do we get. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, we got a katana, guys. Here we go, boom. At least it looks cool, I guess, but it's apparently worth 250k. Wine of Zami. Oh, that's actually like a really good Iron Man drop, but... We're not Iron Man on this account, but that's a really nice way of getting wines. Ooh, Elite Cruise Troll. Let's do it. Here we go. Another Elite. Let's see if we can get something good. Yeah, okay. Elites are usually not the best. So as you can see, 120k and they take quite a while to complete. But we have done 28 of them. Not bad. Ooh, another kick you had. KC number 123. Pretty uneventful last couple of hours, I'd say. But uh, there's another kick you had. There's a second one. Ooh, another cake you had. Nice. I mean, it's just like a... I mean, it's not nice, but it is nice. You know what I mean? Another cake you had. Is this a third head we've gotten? I swear it is. Ooh, there we go. Finally, the very first brimstone key. Another dragon chain body. There we go. Nice. I like it. Even though it's cheap, it looks good. All right, um, six, almost seven hours later, I guess six hours later, um, we have killed about 110, at least 110 recorded kills. This is very, very slow boss to kill in old school, especially the way I do it, which is like one kill a trip, basically, especially when you're soloing it. And as you can see, these are the, these are the loots. So if I were an Iron Man, 500 wines of Zami, don't tell me, okay, 500 wines of Zami, that'd be huge. 
Um, so as you can see, that's like one mil right there, two dragon chain bodies. They're not that expensive right now. Ten torstal seeds, pretty decent profit there. Couple of battle staffs, but all in all, as you can see, seven million from almost entire day's work of Calphite Queen. Definitely a boss I would not recommend you do unless you are going for that pet, which is uh, something we're going for. Collection log is something we are looking to complete in the far distant future. However, we still got about 47 Calphites to complete tomorrow. Okay, let's do it right now. Oh my god, actually, we just got another cake you had. I think this is the cake you had number four. But I could pro- Ooh, there we go, a little bit of change in action. We just got another elite clue scroll, let's do it. Uh, but yeah, let's see what do we get here. Disappointing as always. What- oh, 90k. Yikes. You guys have six more minutes. Oh, third one. Another dragon chain body. Here we go, the task is completed, but as you can see, we only have 51 points, so I'm kinda in the need of getting a good task straight away, hopefully a boss task. You know what, let's do 35 King Black Dragon. Who knows, maybe we get a pet. Let's open on the drop. That was a bit slow, okay, but these rewards are so bad. Anyways, 30 elites done on the main account. But what is this? Summer pies, like what? If I get God Wars or KBD or stuff like that, ooh, look at it. KBD heads, nice. There we go, the task is done. This would be the loot from 35 King Black Dragons. I don't know why one didn't count, uh, but we would have had 671k. However, I just left the loot for the people that were killing it with me. This is another task that I was having in mind. 150 Gargoyles in the Slayer Tower, but we can actually kill Grotesque Guardians. All right, the very first job. Let's see what the KC is. We're starting on 83 KC. First trip was a bit of an experiment, but we ended up getting 227k. And the good thing about this boss is you also get this granite dust that you can put onto cannonballs, making them even stronger. So it's also a very slow boss to kill, but we'll see how long we have the motivation to do this for. Let's keep going. 560k from the next trip and the decision is made. We're going to be selling the tabo to buy a scythe uh, because scythe is really good on this boss. And I don't know, just wanna wanna do it as fast as possible. 805 mil at the moment for Scythe. I think that's gonna go down eventually, but it's fine. And then we need Blood Runes, right? All right, so I finally got this as a drop and I was waiting to try this out. So basically the guy, oh yeah, here you go, boom. So you see, I can just make potions, combine them back together and I pretty much have permanent the divine potions if I'm just a little bit lucky. I'm getting very used to this boss, it's very nice to do it with Scythe and the very next trip, 900k. Look how beautiful the inventory looks. Alright, so I'm actually about to make a pretty big decision about my house, because my house at the moment is a little bit of a mess, and when I enter it, it actually takes a while to load. I spent so much money to do this. I really hope that's everything I need, because I spent so much money on this. That's probably like 20 to 30 mil I spent just making this. And here we have it. The house is shrinked. The portal chamber has everything. We have all this up here. Oh, wait, granite gloves. That's like a first unique though. But yeah, they're not worth a lot. 150k, but they're unique for the collection log at least. 522k. 437k. Forgot to take a ranging pot. 160k trip. Task is now completed. We ended up getting 620k in the last trip. Very nice. I actually really enjoyed this task. Uh, as you can see, I only killed 156 of these in total, but definitely fairly enjoyable. Perhaps the most important thing about this task is the fact that we now have over 6,000 granite dust, which we can use in upgrading our cannonballs. So that is uh, very nice. I guess we're going back to Cave Kraken. Before we go and do Kraken, I did get this hard casket at some point earlier, so I decided to finish it. And we get 15k. Probably one of the worst hard clues I've had in a very, very long time. What even is this? Would you look at that? Um... Holy, what the fuck was that? We managed to do the entire task in one inventory. 1.8 million without the trident. 2.7 million with the trident and an extra brimstone key on top of that. And here we have it. One of the tasks that I guess we have been looking forward to getting was Hydra's. First trip on Hydra, a bit of an experimental one, 630k, 966k, 750k, 685k, 504k, 741k. <gasps> 
What is that? I got something, but I don't know what that is. Hydra's Fang? I think that's a ring piece. That might be my second ring piece. Yeah, it can be combined with a heart and eye. Perfect. Okay, that's the second uh, piece of the Brimstone Ring. I got actually a bit surprised because I haven't seen an item in this boss in a very long time, let's say. And, uh, oh shit, it already spawned. Dude, I'm very happy with that. 987k with a Hydra's Fang and a Brimstone Ring on top of that. 765k, 806k, 1,020k, 788k, 787k, 810k. Looking at the Slayer experience, we are currently one third of the way being done with this video. So we have gotten about 400,000 Slayer XP so far. Not too bad at all, let's continue on with 64 Hydras. You was playing it? Yeah, there you go, so you know- Oh! Oh my god, yes! There we go! Boys! I- I just opened something on- on accident. We finished the ring! Hydra's heart! So 726 KC was needed to get the heart and obviously all three pieces for the ring. The collection log is gonna look very nice with this item in it. Oh, I'm so happy. We have finally finished the very first technically good drop from Hydra, so I'm really excited for that. All right, so 587k, but most importantly, we got the, the third unique piece from Hydra, which means we can create a ring. So let me just quickly go to the bank and see how that looks. I've never made a ring before. Uh, the Twitch chat informed me that it's about 4 to 5 mil, I guess, at the moment. I thought it was like 7, um, but if we take all the other pieces... And as far as I know, I guess you just use them together. And there we have it, a brimstone ring from scratch accomplished. The KC needed for that was around 700. That's the second alchemical hydra heads. I don't know how rare it is. I'm afraid to check it out, I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like that's fairly rare. 584k and alchemical hydra heads, 967k, 533k, 858k, we are almost done, I think what, 3 or 4 more trips, this task takes extremely long time to complete, 739k, 1.26 million trip, very nice, 668k, 1.235 million, and we only have 3 left to do, very nice. And at the very end, 266k, and what a task this has been. This one takes a very long time to complete, and we're finally done, and let's see what the new task is gonna be. Pretty excited to move on from Hydra, but you never know. Ooh, Commander Ziliana, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do 35 of it. Maybe we could do this, I just was an, just as an idea. Oh, that's the first drop. Alright, it's okay, it's okay. 24k, see, it's not bad. It's for the collection log, but you know what? Wait, it's 250k, actually. I wanted to use it, but now I don't know if I want to use it. And here we go, the KC is 35, and the task is completed. I'm probably gonna stay here a little bit longer until I'm out of the supplies, and uh, so far we've only received the Sarah's Light, and about 500k in loot in general, that I'll be splitting between Bell and me, but a decent task nonetheless, and let's see what the next one is gonna be. As if, <laughs> but it's just a Sara sword, but it's still a 600k. Here we go, let's call this a little bit of an extended Sara Domin task. We ended up doing about 55 of them, and this is a loot. We're quickly gonna go and sell it and see exactly how much money we made. 1.1 million without the good drops, and then here we have 20 Renar seeds, which is almost 900k. On top of that, we have a Sara Domin's Light, which is 250k. And on top of that, we have a Sara Sword, which is 550k apparently. Sara's Light did not sell, let's try to chuck it for about 200k. There we go, that should probably sell. And here we have it. 900k for an Arsids, 240 for the Sara's Light, 575 for Sara Sword. Together, we made 2.83 million on that little trip. Uh, but half it and we made 1.4 million. Not bad. Ah, there we go. 96 cave krakens. Can we get a pet this time? Let's go and do it. Let's see what happens. An absolutely lovely trip to the kraken. Did all of it in just one go. Let's quickly price check everything and see how much that was. 1.9 million from just basic loot. On top of that, we also got two brimstone keys. And on top of that, we also got this elite clue scroll. Very successful task. 
Okay, we finished our elite and we also had three hard caskets from the skip tasks that we have been doing. And uh, let's just open the hearts first. We get rune defender ornament kit. Uh, that's not worth anything, but it's something, I guess. The second one, 115k. And the third casket, 41k. And now for the final, this elite casket could also give us mimic. Oh no, but it does give us a master clue scroll, so I guess we can complete that as well. 150k from that one. Not bad. Well then, this is one of the tasks I didn't really consider getting, but Abyssal Demons in the Abyss, meaning that I can probably kill Sire for this part of the task. 600k away from 99, I guess we're gonna be doing some Sire. Yes, there we go! Nice, first unsired. Oh yes, that's what we have been waiting for guys. 63 KC, first unsired and now the fun begins. There are three drops that we can get from this. One in 28 for a pet, no, one in 25 for a pet. And you can also get bludgeon pieces. When you get all three bludgeon pieces from unsired, you can create a full bludgeon and sell it for a bunch of money. And you can also get a Abyssal Head, which is a troll item. You can get a Jar, which is a troll item. And on top of that, you can also get an Abyssal Dagger. So we're gonna go straight in the center and we're gonna see exactly what we get. I'm really excited. Here we have it. The feeling of opening Unsired is always really nice. You put it in this Fount of Consumption and we get a first bludgeon piece. All right, now we need to get at least two more unsireds. God damn it. The very next trip, 1.8 million. And you may be wondering how I'm doing trips this long. It's basically my friend Shoddy is actually running the loot for me. And at the same time, he is also spec transferring me so I can do two specs per trip. It basically allows me to speed it up by a lot, but we still have 86 to go. Here we go, we just got an elite clue scroll on KC number 95, so we are gonna be doing this shortly, I guess? Let's see, is this the wilderness? It is not the wilderness, so... You know what, we're just gonna go right into it. I think the longer I procrastinate it, the more likely it is I'm not even gonna do it, so... Let's just go and do this clue scroll while we're at it. Alright, here we go, uh, elite casket. And we get 266k. Was it worth it? Probably not. Here we go, a small break from Sire, we also had to go deep will this, so we had to bank our gear, but here we go. Elite casket number 46 for 135k, and we still have I think like 60 Sires to kill, or a bit more. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, Abyssal Sire KC 170. Let's go ahead and price check all the loot we have received. I'm quickly taking a peek right now on the side, we have killed 86 Sires in a row right now. Let's see how much all of that was. Alright, so here is an approximation of the loot of the last 86 kills. Some of it could be a bit skewed, so for example blood runes because they went straight into my pouch. But outside of that we have made... Okay, so 3.68 mil it shows on this, but on my side on rune light, it actually shows that we have received about 4.23 mil. So some, some items here might be a bit off, but it's probably because of this bruise and this restores right here. Things like that I didn't end up picking up, obviously, but yeah, very... Well, it's actually not very good. It's, it's pretty bad, XP an hour, uh, but it was a fun little experience. Right, let's go ahead and see what the next task is going to be. Alright, by the looks of things, we're gonna return to the Kraken and hunt for a pet there. We're over 2000 KC, so the pet is pretty close. Alright then, a very enjoyable Kraken task, 1.76 million and 3 brimstone keys on top of that. It's always lovely to do this task in one go. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what the next task is. We are 500,000 experience left to 99 Slayer. I did my best to avoid barrage tasks throughout this video, but there was this one time where I was really burnt when I was like 400-500k experience away from 99 and I got the Necreal task and I was like, god damn I'm gonna do it and I didn't plan on putting it in the video, but then this happened. Alright, here we go, 3000 experience and oh, no way, no way. Imbued heart, 27.5 million. 
Oh, man. I think that's the first one. I think that's the first one. I had to screenshot it. Wow, there it is. That's the first one that's going straight into the collection log. That is amazing. That is so expensive as well. 27 mil. And I even wanted to skip this task because as you guys know, right? I want to get that 99 Slayer strictly through bosses. But damn, the imbue heart accomplished on the account. My Iron Man is very jealous. I'll let you know that much. Alright, well, it looks like we are gonna be returning to the Gargoyle boss, 134 to do. I do think I have the thingy unlocked where I basically do 50% of that. As you can see, I just skip four tasks for this one. All right, let's get some loot. The total loot from the task is 2,880k, so less than a million hour doing the boss. And I've done it fairly efficiently, fairly fast. The only item missing is basically Scythe. Uh, but yeah, the, the boss isn't worth it unless you're hunting for the pets. However, I did get two brimstone keys and let's see what the next task is gonna be. Right, there we have it. I had a feeling this one was coming, 142 hydras. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to do it, get some more money, hopefully finish more drops and... Uh, yeah, not my favorite type of task, but let's hopefully get a pet and be done with it forever. 794k. 667k, let's do the elite clue scroll. This is a proven method of obtaining third age, opening the casket in the wilderness. I got 200k, right. Okay, I had to dig here because it was a wilderness step. Let's go back to Hydra. I just got alchemical Hydra heads on KC number 802. That should be my fourth or third one. 873k, 948k, 458k, 980k, 757k, 570k. Oh no. Okay. Kill count number 844, ladies and gentlemen, and we got ourselves Hydra's Eyes. So we are starting on a new ring. I got a, a bit surprised there because I saw the red text and I saw Hydra's and I was getting excited thinking it was a pet. And then I realized it was just an eye. But you know what? It's okay. We'll take it. We have 83k C left to do. Let's keep going. 732k with a Hydra's Eye and 500k from this one. Well, it's been one week since I last recorded a clip on old school RuneScape, but here's another chip on Hydra, 900k, 750k, 1,016,000, good old 1,084k, 519k, 1.3 million. And 11k on top of that. Lovely. We've also reached 28 million range XP and we are, well, less than 200k XP away from a 99 Slayer. 776k, 766k, 661k and another 1,079k. There we go. Task is finally done. Oh my, I needed literally an entire week to get the strength to finish this one off, but it's done. Oh, me, oh my, right, lovely, okay, boom, let's get out of here. Alright, let's see what we get fucked with right here. No! <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna do... Uh, four hours of Hydra to finish off 99 Slayer. Lovely. I hate it here. 881k and here we go again. 535k. Right, let's uh, let's get a bit better trips going. 50 hours. Did I just get 6 hour logged mid kill? Uh, but what is this, dude? 580k, 1,080,000, 1,058k, 504k. 910k and ladies and gentlemen 41,000 experience left until we are 99 slayer money printer giving us another 981k and then the big kc 1000 only 12k experience left to go and now we can officially complain that we are unlucky now for this trip i left quite a little bit of bones on the floor so i'm just gonna bury them really quickly 
And uh, I think I might finish the last 12k outside, just so we do it a bit faster on the other Hydras. The final price check, let's see what do we get. 1.2 million from this trip. Everyone that can. Uh, obviously Iron Rock is struggling out here, he's level 50, can't really jump over the rock. You know, it's a very hard obstacle to get over as you can see. But here we have it, we're gonna slowly move in and kill the last Hydra. For a while, let's say. I'm definitely burnt of this boss. Obviously, we're gonna kill the small one to, for the end. I don't even know if this is gonna give me the XP, but here we go. We are one Hydra away from 99 Slayer, and there it is. We have waited for this moment for a while. I wanted it to be a special one. That's why we did it basically from 98 to 99 strictly through bosses. This is the first time I get this cape on old school RuneScape. Alright, here we go. We ended up getting 44 brimstone keys. First thing we want to do very quickly is get ourselves a good old... How do I even get this cape? Do I talk to him, I guess? Um, can you sell me a Slayer skill cape? And we can now wear this. I've always wanted one. Um, this cape, in my opinion, is one of the coolest looking capes in the whole game. It has a decent perk where you can get a back-to-back -back Slayer task. And uh, now I'm gonna TP to all the friends over on Mount Karum. We're gonna do the emote and we're gonna open 44 keys. So here we go. The emote. Wait, everyone's just chilling at the key spot. Fine, I'll come to them. And we do the emote. We need to do it because it has to be done. The emote is really weird. I'm not gonna lie. There's keg of beers on the floor. And I guess we're just gonna quickly go ahead and open 44 um, brimstone keys. Here we go, we're just gonna fast click through this um, because, well, we've seen these openings many, many times before but I genuinely wonder how much extra cash we got from these keys. So, if you just pay attention to the chat, you're gonna see some of them are like 50k, some of them are like 100k, foreign pal palm trees were like 200k and uh, the drops vary between like 20k as you can see there for gold ores um, all the way up to like 200k. I don't know what are the best things that you can get from this, um, but as you can see mostly... Oh, this one was 210k, these Dragon Dart tips. And we still have 25 left to go. So this is basically just a bonus on all of the loot we have already achieved. So let me see what we get here. We have 20 left. Pretty much 100k it feels from... Um, Maybe not, maybe a little bit less than 100k average. Ooh, look at this, Dragonfruit 3, 800k. That has to be one of the best things that you can pull here. That has to be one of the best things, but we still have 10 left to go. Torstal Seeds for 200k, very nice. We got a Broken Hasta, that's gonna be good for Collection Log, that's very rare. I think that's 1 in 200, actually. Um, we ended up getting that, that's very nice. And let's see, 5 more to go. More Arrow Tips. And here we go, two, one, and the last one. Ooh, Dragon Dart tips for 500k right there. And that's it, that's uh, that's the loot from 44. Let's quickly price check it and see exactly how much money that was. And that was basically 4.5 mil of just pure extra loot on top of all the other loot that we, I guess, will go ahead and sell on the Grand Exchange now. Alright, so at this point I assume the video is probably already very very long, however, there is one more thing we gotta do. We gotta sell the loot tab now. One thing worth mentioning is that uh, the only thing I didn't really keep track of was the runes, right? Uh, at least I kept track on with the price checks throughout the video, but I will not be selling them right here at the end of the video. What we're gonna be selling is all of the items in this tab. As you can see in the top, there's a little bit of a cheat already. Um, we're gonna be selling all of these and see exactly how much we made.
here we go we collect this boom 38 mil we add on the imbued heart and we get ourselves 30 extra million so now i guess what we can do is we combine this so we basically got 68 million coins from just base loot and i can guarantee you that was fairly unlucky because i didn't get any luck on hydra i could have gotten leather i could have gotten uh claw any of those items that i didn't get and we've done a bunch of hydra in this video and if you don't know hydra tends to drop a lot of runes and as you guys know i didn't keep the track of runes in this video because if you go back and check all the price checks and then you combine it with the end result you'll see that we actually made quite a little bit more money than it's shown right here in the end screen and a lot of that comes from blood runes, death runes and stuff like that that I did not track. Um, but nonetheless, this was an absolutely enjoyable video to make. I have a couple of more maxing, so to say, videos ahead on this account uh, until I'm fully maxed and at that point my imagination uh, runs free. However, if you guys made it this far into the video, once again, a simple like completely changes everything it helps me out greatly and with that being said once again i hope you enjoyed i'll see you again very soon with the video and go ahead and join my discord if you made it this far you might want to join some community events we run on stream and in discord and i'll see you all again with another one very very soon have a good one and bye bye